Before one reaches the Ambake temple, you come across a set of ruins. Stone pillars under a huge tree. This location, just a few hundred meters from the temple, is often missed by the tourist and is worth a stop. The original structure had a wooden roof as depicted in Henry Cave's book of 1908. This is an armadama, or ancient resting place for travelers. The king and his entourage would also use this location to view processions or paraharas conducted around the temple. The Ambalama has pillars with carvings very similar to those found in the Ambake temple. However, the work here is all in stone, while the Ambake temple carvings are all in wood. Legend has it that a drummer who played at the Kathragama temple for many years asked the gods to help him as he was old and feeble. He was told to return home and that he would be shown a miracle. Subsequently, a gardener, while clearing an area in Ambeke, cut a kadru tree. Instead of tree sap, a blood-red liquid oozed out. The drummer realized his miracle had materialized and a small temple was built around the tree. Subsequently, the king bestowed land to the temple while ordering the image houses to be built. The temple's main image house and shrine is devoted to god Kathragama and is flanked by two lion figures. To enter this area, one goes through the Digge or Hevisi Mandapaya, the drummer's pavilion. This impressive structure, built totally out of wooden pillars and roof, is in a remarkably good condition. The wooden pillars are mounted onto stone bases in the floor. The ornate wood carvings of the Ambakke temple have been recognized by UNESCO as an outstanding example of craftsmanship and wooden architecture. In addition to the four-sided pillars with ornate carvings, there are floral leaf designs and lotus motifs carved into trusses supporting the roof. The 32 pillars in the drummer's pavilion have 128 unique designs, each with its story or meaning. The carving of a lion eating the head of a defeated elephant and the wrestlers who are engaged in the ancient style of Angampara are just two among many interesting ones. There are several more with bird and swan motifs and styles. Another outstanding feature of this pavilion are the wooden beams at one end, 28 in all, supported by just one master wooden pin known as a Madol Kurupawa. The temple has a Buddha image housed to the right of the shrine with three doors, one having a beautifully carved ornate frame. This section is called the Vadasitina Maligava or Sanctum. Onto the left of the shrine is another image house, also known as the Bandara Devale. This shrine has artifacts depicting gods who protect the various villages. Lastly, there is an ancient granary where paddy was stored. This building is a raised structure and built on stone bases. The entrance to the temple is also filled with carvings and is a treat to view. The Ambakke temple has many interesting facets from the past, but undoubtedly the drummer's pavilion with a total of 514 unique carvings is a masterpiece in wooden architecture. Through these wood carvings, with no parallel elsewhere, the glory of ancient Lanka shines through.